everyone. Welcome to McCool and the Gang. I'm joined by Penis. Whee! Two out of three members. And Jess is online too. And she's going to comment and um, join in. So that's cool. How are you? Mate. Good, good. mate. <laughs> I'm also good. I saw all the photos from Green Man. It just looked like you had an absolute ball. Oh, man. It was... It was surreal, wasn't it? Like... Woo! I think we hyped ourselves up so much for it as well. Like we were proper nervous before we went on as well. But as soon as we got on there, it was exhilarating to say the least. I couldn't feel my tongue for like the first two songs. (laughs) I was just in a state of like... I think my body went into shock. Yeah. I was like, oh my God. I don't know <laughs> so I don't know about you as well, Rach, but for like the first few songs, I was really, really conscious of like what was going on. But then for the rest of the set, I just completely zoned out and forgot where I was. I agree <laughs> with that comment. Bala. Yeah, yeah. I had a few yeah. zone outs as well. Yeah. It was it was just really strange. I was just like, I was like looking at each portion of a crowd at a time and I couldn't yeah. take it all yeah, in. Yeah, my brain was like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. are all these people doing here? What about COVID? It was it was really strange, yeah. Yeah. But in the best possible way. I also met Laura Marlin. <gasps> oh my she god. She was really weird about it all day. <laughs> oh, I know. I was so excited. I was such a fangirl, honestly. I was so I was happy so, yeah. for you, mate. Oh, thanks, Fala. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, I think Laura Marlin is gonna place a restraining order. <laughs> the photos i was just and i think it was your your friend took a video of them in the crowd when you went oh, on yeah and it Shout was so Dave. cute it was i was like oh my god you guys are just the cutest oh <laughs> it was lovely oh yeah. bless yeah I've, I've been going to that festival for years as well so it was just like yeah mad to be actually playing that stage it also like always just seemed like such a distant like hope or dream yeah so yeah. it was like proper mad to actually do it. Not anymore. Nope. I'm not excited. Not anymore. <laughs> um, and so cool, you've just announced um, you're going on tour of Maximo Park, who are absolute legends. Yeah, what the hell, man. That's so cool, yeah. Enjoy yeah, it. It's going to yeah. be amazing. You deserve mad. it. I remember I, I saw you in, um, oh my look, like, it was Atma? And years ago? Years oh, ago. God, yeah. It was like that, tw- 2018. Yeah. That wow. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. I know. And it was the first time <laughs> I'd seen you and honestly the, just your smiles were just bringing me so much joy. Aww. And like I just I was watching you you you, you all and I, I was just like, I've never seen people have so much fun and just pure joy yeah. on a stage. Mm. And it just, it was amazing. Like it made me smile. And I was with me, me and my friend were just like, I just love it. And also kind of just say your harmonies are insanely good. Yes, I don't know how, Rach, I don't know how you're like this <laughs> and singing in perfect harmony. How do you do it? What's the secret? Well, a lot of practice with me harmonising because I'm not the most natural singer in the world. (laughs) Um, I think not. But Bala... You think you're awesome? Bala's the harmony wizard of the band. She's like a master at harmonies, I'm telling you. Love it. Live for the harmonies. You do bloody love it. (laughs) I thought it was boss. <laughs> I think everyone who I was with was just like, the harmonies. <laughs> well, Bala and I have been singing together since um, uni. Where, where, are you, where are you guys from? Where are you all from? Um, so, like, yeah. We, we formed in Chester, didn't we? Yeah. 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 But, yeah. Um, I'm from, like, um, near Birmingham originally, Dudley. Yeah. So you can probably tell. <laughs> Dudley! Dudley, you represent cool. that place. <laughs> yeah, and... Jess, Jess is from, is from Oxford. Oxford. Jess, I didn't know that. All there the bikes. Goes. And I'm from Swind- Swindon originally, just down the road from Jess, actually. So. Ah. There we go. Cool. Nice. But we formed in Chester. Yeah. yeah. Chester was mm-hmm. a catalyst. Was that, do you form, you formed at uni? Yeah. It was um, just after I graduated. Um, Boo Swindon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Football, Football rivals. Oh, yeah. This is just going to be heckling from Jess now. Yeah, neither of us support our home teams, but we always bring up the fact that there's a massive rivalry between Swindon and Oxford. <laughs> <laughs> all good fun. I love that, that you're all friends first. Sometimes it's weird being in a band because you, you get really close and 
like especially if you're mm. going on tour and you're literally living out of each other's pockets and sometimes that can be really weird like i've never luckily i've never had a weird or bad experience with it mm. but you know definitely read about it but it it i just think it's really awesome that you're all friends as well and that and and it, and you can tell as well on stage like you can just tell so yeah but both of them are like my older sisters honestly they're always yeah very much older sister vibes yeah definitely a bit of sibling rivalry yeah. going on there <laughs> <laughs> jess says i think being friends is very important for lasting bands 100 percent, definitely 100%. And it's sometimes more than being family because let's face it oasis yeah, um, yeah man. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes your siblings can do your head in but friends it's different i think yeah yeah, yeah definitely um <clears throat> Yeah, we've got a really good like friendship between us. I think we can just like be really honest with each other mm-hmm. and be like really supportive and like can talk to each other about anything, which is just like really nice. Yeah. Nice to like do all these really cool things with two of my best mates. Eee. Little kids. Yeah. <laughs> Cause everything's starting going again. Um and it's amazing to see, you know, you're busy and you've got stuff going on. But I just wondered what it was like the dreaded fucking mm-hmm. L word. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to mention it, but you've got to mention it, haven't you? Like, you know, how how was that being being away from each other and not maybe not being able to go in rehearsal rooms and write and stuff like that? It wasn't great. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. it was horrible. Now, to be honest with you, I mean, we all we all still talk to each other like quite regularly on the daily, and we even started our own podcast during lockdown as well. It just gave us a space to vent and yeah just keep in touch yeah. with uh, like each other keep in touch with the fans as well and keep some sort of momentum going I guess yeah but it definitely felt like it wasn't enough for me personally yeah yeah I think it's <clears throat> it's safe to say that we all struggled with it to mm. be honest um it was just it was really frustrating because at the start of the year of 2020 like things were looking really good for us like we were all ready to to go and like you were doing mm-hmm. a tour yeah, yeah. and that kept remember, getting yeah. rescheduled and we like got our hopes that we were like oh, it's gonna happen it's gonna happen and then boris was like nah mate <laughs> so yeah that was that was it was just quite difficult at the time i think and not being able to um practice together because we write a lot of our songs collectively as well um so it was kind of difficult in terms of like keeping mm. creative in that time as well, not being able to see each other. Mm. Um, and I just missed, yeah. I just missed the pair of you as well. It was. I wasn't really writing anything because I felt like there was no point. Definitely like in a slump. Yeah, I know. Oh man. Yeah, man. It was, yeah, it was just <laughs> yeah. such a surreal situation in that we couldn't even really see each other because obviously like, you and Jess were both in Manchester at the time. I was in Chester. Mm. And yeah, just not actually being able to see people like physically in person, like it just sucked. Like these two yeah. people, like mm. I vibe off them so much, like all the time. And now I'm not even allowed in the same room as them. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's horrendous. Yeah. Such a mad situation, wasn't it? Like, I mean, who would who would have bloody thought? No, it? I know. <laughs> such like Yeah. Such a ridiculous yeah, yeah. situation. And like at the same time we are like very aware like how grateful we are for like being able to continue it and like we were all in, you know, okay situations. Like we all had flats that we could live in, we all had like outside space that we can use and stuff. Like there was a lot of other people in a lot worse mm. positions, you know? Mm. And yeah. But it was just, it was still a pretty bad time, <laughs> I'd say, for us yeah. as a band, definitely. But it's made us, like, really appreciate being <clears throat> back now as well, I think. Yeah, definitely. I don't know how you felt Green Man, but probably the same way, actually. But I'd, I remember I did a gig Wednesday, Thursday, and um, it just felt like it had never, it'd never been away. Because everyone was, like, really sweating in the room together and just in really close proximity yeah. like but it just felt like it, it had never been in any other way so it's yeah it's so weird like I don't know did you feel like that or did you feel like oh god it's been a while but I guess, I guess it's both of that isn't it it's like oh god it's been a while playing but then you're like it feels like this is just yeah normal I now. mean like we, yeah. we were quite lucky yeah. like obviously in the lead up and stuff to like Green Man we practiced loads <laughs> like all the time but yeah 
it still didn't stop it from being so surreal when we got on stage but then yeah like like you said after a while like once you're up there like it's as if you never left and it just fe- it just yeah. feels yeah. so normal yeah. and you, like I said earlier on like I zoned out like halfway through our set and just completely forgot like mm. where I was what I was doing like I was just in the moment yeah. kind of thing and yeah you definitely like appreciate yeah. Yeah. it a hell of a lot more like given those circumstances yeah, yeah. so I'm just sorry that's just really made me laugh because Jess has just gone are we and I think that is like in response to Craig's <laughs> question saying made up your play in future yard I think that's to me because I just announced that today but Jess is like are we playing future yard oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. That's made me laugh. Oh, yeah. Uh, what was I gonna say yeah and you know what it made me f- appreciate like what how you just said um like it made you really appreciate being back on stage like I learned to kind of enjoy enjoy it more because sometimes you know when you're when you're up there or you're like playing a new song or or something's not gone right in soundtrack or something like that sometimes I get really like tense and anxious like um and and kind of not in the moment and not Mm. enjoying myself and I've just learned to just, you know, so fucking what if you play a wrong note or sing exactly. something? Yeah. Shit. It happens yeah, all like, the time. And I think I just laugh now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Do a little bit you of know. a nervous smile, like, and then everyone just forgets about it. Yeah. <laughs> like it's so easy to put so much pressure on yourself to make it sound like exactly like the record, mm. but people aren't there to watch that anyway, otherwise they'd just be sat at home listening to Spotify, wouldn't they? Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And sometimes like little mistakes just make you smile. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's just cool. Yeah. It can be funny yeah. sometimes. Like I remember there was one particular one, it was years ago now, but <laughs> Jess like forgot the bass part to a certain song and turned around to me like, oh, like <laughs> I, I remember that gig. It, it was in um just the Deaf Institute, wasn't it? yeah that was yeah. it oh god oh, so I love that venue. it was That's hilarious crazy. people don't care though people are just literally so happy to be there especially yeah now. Oh, just, yeah definitely um did you do any like zoom sessions together for for writing or just we didn't actually no no or was it like remote sending ideas over like no. <laughs> yeah i was gonna say like there were a few like little ideas and stuff that floated around but i think for the vast majority of lockdown we we just ended up doing a podcast so yeah 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 we yeah. channeled just... all our all of our creative energy into another direction for a little bit so yeah 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 it's it's fun isn't it it's really <laughs> yeah fun. i really enjoyed doing it you should come on our <coughs> podcast we haven't done it in ages actually we've just been like doing band oh, stuff again do it, like yeah. other band stuff but yeah Come on our podcast, mm-hmm. yeah. Yay! Yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> totally sneak. Can I can I ask? i I'm s i am think I've heard it before. It may be in the nineties. It's called Happiness Yay. just says go follow. Woo! 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 Um <laughs> where does Snick come from? <laughs> <laughs> I think I've is it like a nineties Well So late we later found out that it, yeah, like I, I don't know why but yeah someone actually pointed that out to us not that long ago and that completely like went over my head when we started saying totally snick but yeah no it's definitely it's yeah. got a completely different meaning behind it for us it, it was on um, nickelodeon or something wasn't it It was yeah 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 oh, but yeah. we didn't realize that basic it came from right so <laughs> we were we we're getting a flight back i think it was from ireland or something like yeah Dublin it might have been or Belfast or something um yeah and Jess we were really tired like I'd only had about like it's all because Rach has cloth ears <laughs> <laughs> yeah. basically it's from his ear that's what it is yeah. these symbols don't help she's not wrong um, <laughs> cloth ears Jesus um <laughs> so yeah she came off the, the flight and like kind of mumbled I feel totally sick but I heard it as I feel totally snick. And so I was like, what the hell is snick? Like, is that some kind of new Manchester phrase that you picked up? Like, totally snick. <laughs> snick. <laughs> and then we were just giggling yeah, about yeah. it all the way home. And it. then we just call everything totally snick now and everything's yeah. really good. If something's good, it's snick. It's like, yeah, it's like a mix of like uh, slick and like, yeah. I don't know, neat. Yeah. Like <laughs> snick. Um, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I, yeah, I, I, I was singing like Snake. I've heard that before, and I was singing like I wonder if something off like Daria. You know that yeah, like nineties like cartoon love about them. that. I was like, it's something off Daria or something. <laughs> But yeah, I love that. It so it sounds so good. Totally sneaky. <laughs> Other than the podcast, like how did you keep just happy? <laughs> I found it really hard to just like not be weird and miserable. Like good question. We yes, very good question. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah. <laughs> I think we all did genuinely just lose our minds for a little bit. Yeah. Like there's only so many books you can read, so many walks you can go on and so many times you can pop to Tesco in one day. Yeah. So yeah, it's not re- there wasn't really that much to do. Let's be honest. Everyone's like, oh yeah, go on a walk or read a book. And you're like, yeah, but I've done <laughs> uh, all those things. And <laughs> yeah, I was just doing like tours of yeah, local supermarkets. Yeah. I was like mixing it up a bit, like going... Oh, I'll go wait for <laughs> today, shall I? Very bougie. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jess says, antidepressants. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Good yes. face, Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really good impression of that face. Uh, 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 yeah, I've got so many wrinkles because my face is literally the most expressive <laughs> face you've ever seen. <laughs> I'm like Gordon Ramsay, like, like, <laughs> like. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh god! Um, what, what are we talking about? Um, yeah, I know. There's only so much you can do. I, I just got really weird and like down, mm-hmm. and um, I, I started off like quite productive, like writing songs, because I had I, <laughs> my life was like a bit of a mess. I'd had like a breakup, like literally at the start of lockdown, mm-hmm. and I was just like. Um, didn't know what I was doing, so it was really horrible. Yeah, um, it's a bad time for it to happen. Just, yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Fucking the worst. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, I know what you mean. Just like it was just such a weird time. Like it's just so. It was just so difficult to know what to do with yourself because, like, yeah, we're all quite like sociable people. Like we we go out a lot, just like anyway, mm. and so. I mean, yeah. it, in a sense, it was kind of nice to be like in one place in one time for a bit because we were so busy like all the time. Yeah. We didn't really get chance to like reflect on it or anything. Do you know what I mean? So I remember that being like, in a sense, like kind of a nice thing to start with. But then after our mm. tours <laughs> getting cancelled and like just the complete uncertainty about everything. Like at one point I was like, I don't even know if live music's ever going to come back again. And I was yeah. just getting like a bit... um catastrophizing about it i think um so that was mm. kind of difficult but yeah just gotta take each day as it comes even now like we don't know realistically what's going to happen but just trying to appreciate like exactly. anything that does make, make yeah. the most of it while <laughs> yeah. we've uh, got it back <laughs> yeah exactly definitely. yeah yeah like definitely. fingers crossed they won't need to lock us down again but just we don't realistically we don't know, know. You know? <laughs> god no yeah don't know uh, uh, well um I, yeah i wonder like what <laughs> this is such a weird question i'm sorry but like what what did you kind of learn about yourself in lockdown because I, I learned loads about myself and it was actually really eye-opening and i was like oh yeah shit. or like if you had like a revelation about your own life or where you're heading or like what did you know what yeah I mean? I yeah um, <laughs> i know what you mean this is a bit like our vulnerability call. Oh, now. God, yeah. I'm it sorry. Is, you don't it? have to answer. Yeah. I just... Oh, no, it's fine. No. No, we love but, it. But, um, yeah, I don't yeah. know. I kind of just, I guess, like everyone, just learnt to appreciate the smaller things in life and just realise that there is some sort of joy in slowing down a little bit. Like, you can't go at, like, 100 mile an hour 24-7 or you just completely burn yourself out. Like, And I also learnt that, I worry about too many things at one time as well. So it's good to like, I don't know, just kind of like differentiate between like the worries that you can actually do something about and the worries that you know, like are just out yeah. of your control. But yeah, 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 you know, like, yeah, when you're worrying about too many things at one time, you just like, you don't know where to start. And then you have all these plans yeah. for yeah, yourself. Yeah. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. And it's just like, you don't need to be making all these plans. You can't do all of these things like all the time. So yeah, just, yeah, for me, yeah, just slowing down and just appreciating the little things, yeah. I guess. 
Definitely. Mm. Um, I think like I found out about myself that I can I can be a bit needy sometimes. I think <laughs> just like mm. do you know what I mean? I was just like, oh my god, I've not seen my friends in ages. Like I need to speak to someone. Do you know, do you know what I mean? Like I just yeah. yeah. So I think I've kind of learned to spend a bit more time like by myself um, and just how to like entertain myself without my three <laughs> people all the time. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I was like, please talk to me on the phone, yeah. please. Um, I think I'm just naturally like quite yeah. an extroverted person. And so that was kind of like difficult just being locked in a flat um, in that kind of mm. situation. Um, yeah. And yeah, like Bala said, just slowing down a lot as well because like, we were going at a bloody thousand miles an hour before lockdown yeah. as well. So kind of like learning how to entertain myself otherwise, I guess. <laughs> like I was yeah. walking this really cute dog yeah. during lockdown called Aww, Tinkerbell. Shout yeah. out. <laughs> 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 so I spent a lot of time with her. So she was nice. really cute. Yeah. And I also <clears throat> joined, it's very out of character for me to do this, but I got a personal trainer in lockdown as well. <laughs> oh, girl. And then yeah. definitely jumped straight off that bandwagon when I moved away from Manchester <laughs> <laughs> and just started eating loads of cheese on toast again. Um, yeah, yum yums. <laughs> yeah, yum yums, exactly. <laughs> but it was a bit of a change of, change of pace because I'm not normally yeah. the type of person that does that. <laughs> I mean, yeah. that's so cool. It's just like, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'll do it then. <laughs> All right. Yeah. yeah <laughs> if you want, I guess. if you feel like it, do it. Yeah. There was nothing stopping me, I guess. So, yeah. Yeah. I just did a bit of that for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Jess says it you? was a weird dog, actually. Tinkerbell. It was a weird dog. Oh, Tinkerbell. Aw. Tink was cute. <laughs> Such a good head. You know what? She she acts like a middle aged woman. That dog I've yeah. never seen. Her <laughs> she she looks like she should be called In Sharon. She was so sassy. <laughs> it's like, oh, Karen! She, was she a Karen? She's a proper Karen. <laughs> like she doesn't ah. like other dogs, and she proper like side eyes them when you walk past. Like That's get away! So funny. <laughs> yeah, can I see the manager, please, Karen? Yeah, um, <laughs> exactly. Oh, I'm so jealous. Oh yeah, we 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 acquired a cat in our house. Um, oh yeah, over lockdown, so that was quite nice. Even though she's a bit of an arsehole because she just hates everyone, <laughs> um, I still I still try and be loved by her, but she just doesn't want to love me. But it's getting there. She's let me pet her twice Aww. now, so that's good. Um, <laughs> so we're getting there. That. This is um, the thing with cats, so like you need to earn their affection. Yeah. Do you know what I mean, they don't just give it out willy nilly like exactly. dogs. And cats, cats are just oh, they do not. They're just it happy out to do their own thing as well. Cats, like they, so. they're the only animal to domesticate themselves, which mm-hmm. says a lot, really, doesn't it? Well, don't cats think that they're domesticating us? Like that's why they bring you like, um, oh, like yeah. rats and stuff. Like I don't know if it's like a rat or whatever. <laughs> like they bring you like dead birds, don't they? And they they think that they're feeding yeah. you. Yeah, oh, apparently right. they're trying to teach yeah. you okay. how to hunt or something like that. Yeah. Oh. So. Oh, that's so kind. I read. You know what? I read about cats that they've learned to meow in the same frequency as human babies because obviously it gets our attention. They just learned that. Whoa. It's like mad thing about cats. Yeah. That's a bit creepy. Yeah, just a bit. <laughs> They don't need to meow because if they were out in the wild, they wouldn't meow because it would be like dangerous for them, you know. But oh they meow because of humans. How mad is that? <laughs> but um, that must be yeah, like quite recent packs. developments in cat evolution. I don't know, apparently, <laughs> but it's it's <laughs> apparently true. So yeah, that's um, mad. It's really weird. Do all of you record at home DIY? Any tips, gear, etc. your recordings sound mm. great. <laughs> we go to a studio because we're really bad at yeah, stuff like that. <laughs> I bought like a little home studio set, but that was mainly for just like just playing around on. And then I just started using it for recording podcasts and stuff as well. So, but if, you, if you're going to get yeah. any gear, don't splash out. Just get something simple. Mm. Um, and yeah, just take it from there, basically. <laughs> I'm saying that for me. Yeah. For me, something yeah. that you understand how, wor- exactly, how it works. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I- I'm gonna hopefully learn how to do stuff like that soon. Um, but at the minute, I don't really have a clue about microphones. As you can see, I'm just using an SM7. <laughs> Is 
is it 58? Yeah, there we go. Just did vocal like mic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Jess, Jess says, go to a studio, then figure yeah. out there. Yeah. 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 You're better off getting advice from a proper like producer or engineer, mm. <laughs> as opposed yes. to yeah. us. <laughs> oh, Jess says, and take the stuff you learn and apply it to your own stuff after. Yeah. YouTube yeah. is great. Like, I, I, yeah, yeah. There we Jess are. Said lots of YouTube videos. I, I've learned so much on like on YouTube about you know, I I use Logic producing and Logic and honestly like if I don't know how to do something or I want to get an effect yeah, I yeah. just YouTube it it's amazing and it works it's like it's never let me down so yeah um, it's mad the amount of free resources that there mm-hmm. are now for these kind of things you know like it wasn't like yeah. when we were teenagers like growing up you know when you'd have to use like in car or something yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, so yeah, yeah it's it's like yeah there's a lot of things online which yeah i've just been lazy and just not learned it to be honest but you hopefully know, soon i'll but time, if yeah. you want any drum equipment stuff i can tell you about that but just not about microphones <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah has there been like when you've been in the studio um what's your like favorite thing about recording and, and like producing your music have you got like a favorite um I don't know I, for me it's the embellishing like after you've recorded like the main bits and stuff like listening to it mm. all come together and then adding like those little extra bits like my little extra harmonies like little extra guitar licks yeah. um like keyboards synth stuff like that but yeah definitely mm. i i really really enjoy that bit because that's when you really start to think like oh like this is all actually coming together now this this is sounding good yeah yeah Finesse. we call it um plinky plinky plonkies yes that's my favorite bit as well it's like it's when it comes away from being just a live version of yeah. the song to like the recorded version because obviously yeah. it's just the three of us, so it all it only gets written like with drums, bass, guitar, and then we can sometimes have like other ideas for synth lines in our in our head, and then think, oh, we'll add that mm. in on the recording. Yeah. So it's nice to actually like hear what we have in our heads, kind of replicated. Yeah. It's so exciting! Yeah. Like every little bit we add on, we're like, oh my god, <laughs> how exciting! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it sometimes it. those little bits can like just become like lead parts that people sing and remember it's yeah. weird that isn't it like and you never would expect it um, <laughs> yeah just as what Wade said yeah plinky yeah. plonkies <laughs> <laughs> I call them um little but little blips and buzzes I like that nice. that's good yeah. I like <laughs> that blips and buzzes <laughs> yeah. yeah um oh that's so cool so let's talk about your single that's coming out soon <laughs> Have you got? Are you re- what have you revealed about? Have you revealed the the title, or can you talk about anything like that? We haven't revealed an awful lot about it yet. <laughs> oh, snack. So it's called "What's the Use," and you've probably seen it live if you've seen us recently. Um, so yeah, it's called that, and we've got a little music video ready for it as well. Um, which was just recorded on our phones and we've just kind of like compiled lots of stuff together like from tours in like 2019 and Jess made it on her iPad hi Jess um during lockdown and we all watched it and it made made me cry actually the first time I watched it because I was like oh I miss kicking so much so it it was really nostalgic watching it so yeah it was nice though as well it's a cute video nice memories yeah and Jess is like yes I am the <laughs> <Tony's Nick. laughs> snack. what's it about then what's the use what what's that what's that mean what's it about it's just basically it's like nothing. like like we introduce it every time we play it live is about being sad and just not wanting to get out of bed which a lot of people could mm. probably relate to after the last 18 months so yeah yeah there we go. yeah, yeah. Very, very relatable, relatable. It was written before lockdown, but it's a very lockdown vibe song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah what's yeah. the message? <laughs> what's the message? That's it. I want to know what what's the message. Um, <laughs> it's weird how, how that happens, isn't it? Like you write something before lockdown and then lockdown hits and you're like, oh my God, this song is my life. <laughs> yeah, um, completely. Yeah. Did you have that as well? Yeah, I had... Um, 
there's one song called listen to the radio it's called so it's mm-hmm. like it's towards the end of my album and it's about just I, I i think i think i lived near jess at the time or like jess lives on my road or something that i oh, yeah. used to live on in manchester yeah because i would be um just about on like the dull days where i was feeling like just a bit uninspired and i used to listen to six music and it just used to cheer me up a little bit and um and yeah it's it's just about the shit days where it's shit weather and you feel a bit shit and you're like what the fuck am i doing with my life and what why am i here like what where am i going um it's about feeling like that and then and then just you know thinking just calming down a bit from that um but yeah that that i wrote that like way before lockdown and then lockdown hit and and obviously like getting the album mastered listening to the songs and um i was just like fucking hell this is this is so relevant to me right now um yeah yeah yeah, definitely i feel like we've actually started to look at some of the songs that we've written because a lot of the songs that we've written like were written before lockdown as well but because of lockdown we've started to look at them from a different perspective now and like there's definitely aspects within those songs now that are a lot more relevant now than they might have been at the time Mm. just says yup yeah Um, (laughs) yeah i used to live in chorlton um i'm pretty sure that's where you live jess sorry i don't want to reveal things about your location she's gonna get random people turning up on the doorstep now going around to people like oh my god she's in charlton what road is she on turning up at at the unicorn being like (laughs) that's so cool about your single i can't wait to hear it and and see the video um i love i love a like a diy video are you you working with alcopop is that right did i get that right um, we released the EP with with Alcapop, um, yeah. But future ones, we're just gonna wait and see what's happening, basically. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, are you sure was released with Alcapop? Yeah. Shout out to yeah. Jack. Yay! Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Lovely Jack. Are you? Um, would you say that you're like based in Manchester as a band? Um, we always say we're from Chester because that was where we yeah. formed. Um, yeah. Um, I'm moving back to Manchester. Um, in like two weeks, um, but I've been in Chester. I've just been all over the you place have, mate. recently. But Ballas <laughs> in Chester, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, we we practice in Chester as well. Like we've got a lot of our kind of base there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Putting yeah. it on the map. That's it. <laughs> Definitely. What? Well, yeah, because I just wondered what what the scene was like, um, and like what you know, seeing as you're from around different places <clears throat> all around the UK, like. You know, what's your favourite city for music scene? Um. I mean, <laughs> the Chester kind of music scene, it's quite small, but everyone's really supportive and it's been a really nice place to, like, start off. Um, there's, like, bands like Campfire Social are absolutely lovely, um, Sustania. Um, yeah, there's some really, like, lovely people around that have, like, really supported us for them first starting out. And... Yeah, but same with like sh- shows that we've done, especially in Manchester. They've mm-hmm. been really good. Um, mm. I love our Wales gigs, you know. <coughs> I-, I love playing in Wales. Yeah. Like, it's just a wholesome scene. Yeah, like, right. obviously, Green Man and stuff. But yeah, some of the first gigs that we played, like, very early on, were all in like Cardiff and stuff. And Cardiff music seems great. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. The, the Welsh music scene, like Adam Walton from Radio Wales, has helped us out loads as well. Yeah, Yay. I know Adam. Yeah, yeah, he's a darling, yeah, yeah, yeah. isn't he's, he? He's so great. Yeah, he's lovely. Yeah, we love Adam yeah. to bits. Um, so he's helped us out loads. And so from that, we've had a lot of Welsh support as well. So yeah, the Cardiff one is mm-hmm. always great. And Green Man as well, obviously. Yeah, yeah it's been lovely. Oh, lovely. Yeah, I, I love Manchester uh, music scene. I, like honestly just absolutely love it like it's it's so strong at the minute and yeah liverpool yeah. as well like still you know even even though kind of a lot of venues have closed and we've kind of been battered really haven't we by everything yeah. that's gone on Completely. but even even so like everyone's just really up for getting back on it and i think yeah, yeah definitely some really great communities here and in, in Manchester. 
Yeah. This might be a bit of a tricky question, but is there do do you think that you'll do an album soon, or are you just happy kind of making EPs <laughs> and singles? <laughs> <laughs> well, well that would be telling now it. wouldn't well. it <laughs> <laughs> it would be telling <laughs> let's simplify it and say, and say have you been writing much lately yeah 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 okay we've, we've, okay. we've been in the studio <laughs> and stuff and yeah yeah we've nice. been busy bees yes buzzing about <laughs> okay <laughs> and, and that's exactly. all you get <laughs> exciting though that's so yeah, exciting yeah yeah we, we're buzzing about it we're buzzing we'll have to see yeah. what happens with covid and everything you know like it's hard to say but some mm. point or another you, you'll hear <laughs> like, <yes. laughs> the zip emoji and I, I love talking about songwriting with musical guests because it's just really interesting like hearing what inspires different people um but like is it is there anything in particular that makes you want to write songs because i know that like me especially like something has to happen (laughs) for me to want to write about it or want to talk about it um and i really like you know writing about my relationships with other people and like i'm a proper people Mm. person like i really love examining people that sounds weird but um i just wondered you know what what is it for (laughs) for you as a band I think it's just like general like life frustrations and like I feel like a lot of the stuff that we've written as of late is kind of like a coming of age kind of thing um in the mm. the old saying like you become more conservative as you get older and yeah you definitely don't mm. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> but like yeah like just like I said like just think yeah, like just general frustrations. Like I just uh, every time someone asks us that question, I always think about Oh George, like and that process of writing that yeah. song, because we were so pissed off at the time, like all these yeah, Remember like that. we we had like the basis of the song, like the melody kind of thing, and then all of these lyrics started like just coming out, and then it turned into a uh, we hate uh, George Osborne song. <laughs> yeah it was about the, the yeah. budget and i remember i think i remember jess sending over like a little picture that she drew of george osborne with his briefcase like, yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah um but a lot of it's just about kind of conversations that mm. we have as well um so um ugly veg for example we'd all watch this documentary about food waste um mm. and we talk a lot about like why are people not more concerned about the climate crisis and things like that so it kind of came as a result of that um but yeah a a lot of it's just kind of like Bala said general frustrations Mm. conversations that we have some of it's about like relationships like um yeah we haven't released it yet but Jess wrote a song once about a breakup that I had <laughs> um, like, <laughs> through my eyes. Oh wow! Which is which is really sweet of her. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's just like because we know a lot about each other's lives and stuff as well. So mm. yeah, there's a yeah an- another song. Um, yeah, worry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just about our friendships and different lives and what's going on in the world. I think really. Yeah. yeah. That's so cool that you are tight enough to write about each other's lives. Like, that's amazing. <laughs> it was really lovely that she did yeah. that. Bless her heart. Thanks, Jess. Ah, Little cutie. It's good, though. <laughs> like, writing those kind of songs yeah. and stuff, though, like, if you are in a bad place at the time, it gives you a little bit of closure, I guess, as well. So, yeah, Definitely. that's why I was so productive at the start of lockdown, because I was just going through shit. But, you know, yeah, it, it I got me some good songs out of it. So, you know. This is it. I think like this is a, a common thing. Like I've got a few of the friends that um, write a lot of songs as well, and some people say like the struggle to write unless they're depressed, basically. Um, mm. So I don't think we like that so much as a band. I think we're probably more productive when we're in like a better place, even because we feel like we can like we, we get something out of writing. It makes us feel better doing that as well. Um, so. 
but yeah, we've definitely had enough kind of um what's the word ammunition I yeah. guess to write about yeah, yeah. yeah definitely yeah. Yeah. It, yeah it's kind of like the, f- the flip for me because like writing about other people and like your relationships and I didn't have that so I had like no stimulus aside yeah. from you know a lot at the start so so yeah it's so funny like I I, I really struggled with it because it was nothing I felt like I've, I've got nothing to say um yeah yeah, Jess says I can only really write in hindsight after any depressing yeah. episodes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Mm. I think w- w- when you're in it, it's like you know, it's hard to see the woods to the trees sometimes, isn't it? And you definitely have more clarity about a situation, like having come out the other side of it. I think sometimes, and then mm. I think some of the songs are like that, like looking back on a time, you know. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Can I please have um, a track from each of you that you are loving at the moment <laughs> and why? Ooh, oh yes. my god! Yes, you know. I what? know what I'm gonna. Say. I've got I know a few what in I'm mind. Say, Go on. <laughs> I cannot stop listening to this song. I'm like literally obsessed at the moment with. I know what you're gonna say, Bella. I'm literally <laughs> obsessed on, Bella. with the song what Dynamite by BTS. I just think that song it's Banger. such oh, a yeah. brilliantly written pop song. That, it's so catchy. I did not expect no, that. I've like, <laughs> over the past like few months I've developed a bit of an obsession with K pop and that's literally like if I go through my Spotify, they're like, what have you been listening to lately? All my like daily suggestions and stuff like that is all K pop because that's all I keep listening to. But I don't know what it is about that song. It's just so <laughs> catchy. So Dynamite by BTS. Oh, Amazing. Yeah. Massive banger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jess says, my pick is Kelly Lee Owens' Wake Up. Ooh, Ooh I've not amazing. heard Amazing. I love one. Kelly Lee Owens. She, she did the, um, um, oh my God, what's it called? Boaty Weekend. Oh, yeah. When uh, we did it with White Horses. Yeah. She, she, cool. I really like her. What, what do you like about that song, Jess? So we can include it. Um, Rach, what about you? So mine... Oh, there's a few. It's hard to choose, but <laughs> the main one that's coming to my mind is I Do This All The Time by Self Esteem. Um, okay, yeah. And I saw her at Green Man this weekend and it was so good. She was incredible. Like, so, like, the whole stage show was so well coordinated, like, all the dance moves and everything, and it was so empowering. I was like, yes, I'm an independent woman. <laughs> she was so good oh Oh my god i love her so much yeah we've all like bonded over that song a lot um since it came out i think jess sent it yeah she she did yeah yeah and we were both just like oh my god like this it's speaking to me (laughs) yeah (laughs) proper always wear sunscreen oh yeah reminds me of that yeah 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 so yeah it feels like it's like that equivalent song for this part of my life yeah it's got that kind of like you know, um, don't delete the kisses, Wolf Alice kind of vibe, like mm-hmm. just spoken. Just like general life advice that she's dispensing throughout. And I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah. you're touching all these nerves, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's it's such a good song. And that whole album, I think, is going to be class as well. Jess says, it captured how I felt up until very recently in regards to the mon- a little bit. monotony of existing when you're really unhappy. It's weird comforting always good to listen to sad songs and cry along when you're feeling sad as well lol emo <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah 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 i've been i've been cane in um penelope isles sailing still oh i've not heard yeah, that one. beautiful song oh it's so beautiful yeah it's like it starts off like really delicately and then it just goes it's like like big drums like big guitars and honestly it's like my jam it's I like to listen to that it's beautiful it re- yeah weirdly reminds me of like grizzly bear mm. when it kicks in yeah um, they're class but i've been, been hammering it yeah check it out yeah, yeah. so <laughs> we we we're, we're kind of our time is up oh. yeah thank you so much for coming on and speaking about oh, everything thanks for having us thanks yeah. for having us and it's so great to see you again yeah and thank you jess for joining in on the chat i'm so sorry we couldn't have you but you were here anyway yes giving us heckles (laughs) as that was quite fun (laughs) bye bye Bye. Bye. 
Thanks so much for listening. And don't forget to subscribe and follow to this podcast. I'm Natalie McCool and you can find me and my music on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and also on my website, nataliemccool.co.uk. Bye! I think you're a magnet, and I'm a magnet too.